I think it's really important if you have a hearing impaired child and there are siblings to recognize that it's a big thing for that sibling. A lot of times it's a little kid that can't necessarily articulate how they're feeling about it, but it, it impacts them, in my opinion, more than it impacts anybody else because their whole little lives are being turned around. Everybody wants to know how CJ's doing and oh, how's his hearing? You're, you're asking that sibling potentially to learn a new language so that he can communicate with his sibling. Specialists are coming in giving 100% of their attention to the hearing impaired child while this other sibling is sitting there wondering what's wrong with me? Why don't I get this much attention? And then maybe even fearing, maybe am, am I going to lose my hearing loss? And so it, it was really, really important that we put as much effort into taking care of our older son and giving him as much information as he could have and as much attention as he could have. Younger siblings that have come later, we've had two children since CJ, it hasn't really been an issue because that's just always been how it is in our house and so it doesn't impact them quite as much. Older siblings really need to be taken into consideration though. Uh, Juan Ricardo, that guy would do anything for Alexis. Yeah. He found out that he had a hair loss. It is more protective for, for Alexis. Let's put it this way. That guy would do anything for Alexis.